Hundreds of residents came here to the Litchfield Transfer Station to pick up two weeks worth of water as this investigation continues. Residents tell us they're thankful for this, but remain concerned. One by one, people pulled up at the Litchfield Transfer Station Sunday to pick up several gallons of bottled water. Our anticipation is that certainly right through the summer, uh, we'll be providing bottled water to hundreds of homeowners. The water is being provided by the state to people affected by potentially contaminated drinking water in Litchfield, Merrimack, Londonderry, Bedford, and Manchester. Because I think they'll take care of it. All we can do is wait and see. High levels of the chemical PFOA were found last month at the St. Cobain plant in Merrimack, which started an investigation into the drinking water. The level we're looking at is 100 parts per trillion. And if any of the neighborhoods have a well that tested above that level, then we want that neighborhood on bottled water. Nearly 400 homes are receiving bottled water. Soil testing will begin this week at eight locations in Merrimack and Litchfield. And while that's going on, officials are working on a solution to the problem. Right now we're working with St. Cobain and looking at what the options are. And it's usually either a treatment facility or connecting people to municipal water. Meantime, people affected are taking advantage of the free water. I've been buying bottled water, but being offered the free water, there I am. Jack Rainville lives in Litchfield and is concerned about what's going on. I want some kind of end to it, some kind of answer. DES has been keeping people updated by holding informational meetings and posting information on their website. We do have a information line that is set up and if people call in, they can get connected to a nurse who can talk them through what we do and don't know. DES tells us that they hope this is the last distribution day. They're working with the water company to get water delivered to affected homes as this investigation moves forward. Reporting in Litchfield, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.